and just kind of transitioning, um, my next question for you is, do you think that you can utilize the law to achieve social justice? And if so, how, how so? I mean, it's funny. I just, you have to see my pieces of paper for our conversation. Um, <laughs> so we, um, well, because we we've been talking a lot about this. My clinic is all a, a about social justice. We have nine, um, nine clinics here in, in my clinical program. And we were just, I was just writing a, a paragraph about it last night. And I went and I looked up, because everybody talks about social justice, but what does it mean? I mean, can you tell me what it means? I don't know. I mean, I know it when I see it, but do you know the definition of it? I, I, I don't know if I could tell you a sentence of what social justice means. And so, I found one and the four, the four principles of social justice are um, equity, access, participation, and rights. I like those. Um, and all of our clinics do that work here. And so, you know, I think about, we have a reentry clinic. We're, we're working with folks who are just leaving, you know, um, state and, and local uh, prison and jail, and we're helping them with stabilization in housing and employment. Uh, so that's social justice to me. I've worked on lead poisoning cases. Um, that's social justice to me, like working with medical legal partnerships. I created one with University Hospital here, uh, working with families and kids for you know housing issues, guardianship, social security, which is economic stability that's social justice to me. Um, but that's what social justice means to me. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's a definition that works for somebody else. Um, that's, you know. that's excellent. 